Hey people, it's me again, so I'm just walking outside, so anyways, although I have this sort of that one comment on my video of the mirror of that fuck eat, uh, fuck bullies, you know, I figure I could probably adopt the same kind of little common thing, common strategy with, uh, like, with Imaj, you know, here, you know, how I'm not going to really be that mean with any of the ones who are uh, who are younger than 18, but it seems like as soon as they're like 18, you know, but I could probably just be a little bit mean, you know, but not entirely that mean. But the the thing is with that one guy uh, posted there was just already 18, you know, but it's just like any other 18-year-old there. They just believe they know everything, but they don't. They don't, you know, it's, 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 it's just that if you think that you know everything, no, they're, they're just completely naive, you know, as all any of these 18 year olds or 19 or 20 year olds, you know, maybe even 21 or, you know, uh, they think they know everything, but they're completely naive about how the world works here. And, and uh, honestly, I had this sort of like argument with uh, with one of those uh, young Christians. I forgot what I forgot his uh, channel, but he was part of it. Was like eighteen or nineteen, you know. And and then I kind of basically ended the argument there that. That he couldn't argue with me without quoting the scriptures or without having having this sort of belief that anything that's different is wrong, you know. And that's just where I kind of leave it at that with that with this one guy there, you know, that that he just automatically believes that anything that's different from the norm is completely wrong or whatever, because that was just how he was taught to believe, you know, whether he was homeschooled or went to public school or private school or parochial school but but most likely any of those people that are like that way they're just homeschooled so it's just like that that um that kid i forgot what was her what was his name that uh the white lightning one 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 four one had uh had uh critique his video there you know a couple of months ago, where that that one kid I think was probably I don't know maybe like eleven or twelve, you know, and yet I think he was just coughing up every little thing that his mom or dad had told him about every little thing, you know, in the world, and yet he probably got Chris Chris has the you know, but. It was just like that other kid there, you know, with uh, with uh, Sarah, you know, and it's the same thing. I mean, after all, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to like over pick on any of them, you know, as far as that goes, because here I am, I'm, I'm gonna be thirty, in about another couple more months from now, and I shouldn't really be picking on somebody like that, you know. But just really just say to them that big, to them run along the, and then the big kids are playing, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. Not just them, uh, you know, not just them just saying that, uh, that they really, really just need to, what's the word? I forgot what's the word again, you know, they just need, really need to go out, go out and see the world and all that sort of stuff, and, you know, because they're just completely naive, and that's just what the whole thing with them being, going into college is for in the first place, you know, at least for them to kind of realize that, realize that, that the world isn't really the way they were told, as far as in school goes, you know. 
But yet, it's just the whole project of senioritis, you know, that that they think they think they know every little thing, you know, but in reality they don't. They don't know anything other than just what they have told, what they have been told. And then as soon as they go around and see the world or or at least have some sort of experience like like college being away from home or being partially away from home or whatever then I could probably could have some sort of intelligible conversation with them, you know. But it was like the same thing that I kind of had the other the other day, you know, when uh when uh, some idiot there was like uh making a a stupid remark on that Jennifer Knapp video. And as you know, it was like Jennifer Knapp had came out as a lesbian, you know, but then that one guy was going around making this stupid little remark about about gays, you know, like they're all like it's all about sex, you know, but again it's it's just one of those little stupid little things that some of those people hardly just either don't care to understand or don't want to understand. That a love between two people, you know, whether if it's a man and a woman or two men or two women, you know, that is like still love regardless of what it is, you know. And yet they're and yet they make these sort of little comments like that, and you wonder why they're being called bigots in the first place. It's like the same thing with like what uh, Doctor Laura had said about a few years ago about like she says. Gay relationships are codependencies, and it's not love, that sort of thing, you know, and and she drew a lot of ire for that. And yet, it's one of those little things, I don't know if where they just say these sort of things on purpose, just to, just to piss people off, or just to get some sort of negative attention. Maybe that's what it is. I'm beginning to think that... Half these people that make these type of comments like that are just that they know that that being gay is not a choice. They know that it's that it's that it's no different from being straight, other than it's just the semantics and all that. But they choose to make these sort of silly little assumptions and silly little things on purpose because they like the attention, they like the negative attention that they get from people calling them bigots, calling them assholes, and and whatnot, you know. So, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny that these things would happen, you know. So, anyways, I guess that's it for now.